Good morning, Hot Tots. Welcome back to my channel. So I am currently drinking coffee. I'm trying that pumpkin spice latte creamer from Target. It's pretty good. I think I just don't really like my actual coffee grounds. Like they're not very strong tasting and I like the taste of coffee, but it's pretty good. Um, I don't count my first cup of coffee's worth of creamer. Uh, I don't use a ton of creamer, so whatever. But anyways, I'm sitting here. I'm so excited because I got a laptop. I finally invested in YouTube, which it's only been a year and some change, right? <laughs> so I bought myself a MacBook Air laptop. So pretty. And so I had a Mac, a refurbished like desktop Mac. And I put that away into my closet because I'll be editing on here from now on. And now because I did that, this whole space is now cleaned up again. Like there's no computer and I'm just loving not having anything there. Like it makes me so happy. But I cleaned up my whole apartment. It just looks so pretty. Oh, my bicycle. I love it, okay. so. So just to tell you guys what's on the agenda for today, and sorry for my hair. I just straightened it because I have a date later. So today I'm excited because it's 8.30 right now and at 12.30 I'm doing a Make-A-Wish foundation ride to raise money and awareness, you know. Um, and I'm hoping, I posted it on my Instagram and I'm really hoping that anyone in the Columbus area is able to make it. I'm not sure who signed up. Um, two of my girlfriends are coming with me and they're going to do the ride with me, but I'm like, oh my gosh, that'd be so cool if some of my subscribers were there. But I'm going to that ride. I really booked myself up because, just to give you a visual, here's my where I live. I live like close to downtown Columbus. And then Easton, which is where this is at, is like a um, shopping center and it's about 20 minutes closer to like more of a suburban area. Then my parents' house from Easton is, or my mom's house is 20 minutes from there. So 40 minutes all together from where I live downtown. And then my date from my mom's actual place is like 15 minutes away. So it's in Canal Winchester. So instead of me driving all the way back from Easton to my house to get ready right after um, the spin class, I'm going to my mom's house with my stuff, just taking a body shower there because I washed my hair and I'm really hoping that, although I'll probably get sweaty, my hair's so thick, it just like sucks it in, like it's so crazy. I know I'm so lucky, hashtag blessed. Um, but take a body shower and get ready there and then go from there to my date in Canal at four o'clock. Well, I forgot, I had told my friend Tina who's spinning with me that I would like go after spin class, like get a drink with her somewhere, whether it's coffee or mimosa or something. And I'm like, man, I booked myself up. So I might see if he can push it to like 4.30 time. I might have to ask him that right now. That's the sitch. Don't mind my face if it looks kind of greasy. I just put my um, vitamin C serum on there. But I was thinking I could wear something like this, like kind of tuck in my sweater because it's going to be kind of warm for me and wear little booties and wear like a sweater and then my shorts. So this is an option that I'm bringing. I don't know if I'll wear it. And then I was thinking I could do something like this where this kind of like goes longer than my shorts, but it's just like the black tank underneath with... um my outfit. I would just wear this with like black booties or my black combo combat boots. But I was thinking this outfit would be cute. And obviously my hair and makeup would be done. So this is a contender. Then I was thinking, oh, this would be such a cute outfit. Just like pretty simple, white sneaks, little white sweater, but with shorts. So this could maybe work. Ugh, there's so many options. Then I have jeans because I'm like, it is November. Should I be wearing shorts out in public right now? <laughs> like, ugh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm bringing two of these muffins. They're 110 calories a piece. I'm going to bring them to 
ap for after my workout because I haven't eaten yet, but I usually don't eat this early. It's 11.15 and I'm gonna be leaving in about a half hour. And then I always bring a water bottle to spin class because when you're spinning inside a class, like I always, for some reason, get so thirsty, um, but I don't get thirsty when I'm at home. It's very weird. So I'm bringing that. I have my bag with my outfit in there for later and my makeup. Do I need anything else, you guys? My curling iron. Yeah, we should be good. Oliver, say hello. Say hello, Bubba's. Oh, he's stretching. Oh, wow. Say, I was sleeping as per usual. I'm just sleepy boy. Right, bub? Yeah. I love ya. Oh, I almost just went to go put on my <laughs> seatbelt again. Okay, so we're on our way. It is so nice out. It's so weird because it's like when you're in the sun, obviously, you feel super warm. So like my shorts idea, good idea with a sweater. But then when like, if it's a little shady, you feel kind of cold. So I'm hoping that we sit outside. We're going to Brewdog, which is usually like an outside area place. So hopefully we sit outside, you guys, or else I'll be burning or I'll be freezing. But I'd rather be cold than hot because I run so hot and I can't stand it. <laughs> had such a good time they gave us a little snack after i'm gonna eat it's 200 calories because i didn't eat my muffins yet um but yeah that was super fun i'm dead now i burnt like 425 calories in that class but now on to the next hello hot tots it is a new day i know i added that so everything that you saw happen happened over the weekend. It is now midweek <laughs> and I already put up my meal prep video, but I really just wanted to show um, the cycle bar make a wish foundation class because I thought that was cool and I was going to continue filming, but after my date, so on my date, it was okay. Um, it was just okay, but uh, I had a half of a chicken quesadilla and that was it. And that's all I had to eat that day. Like I had a bar, a nutrition bar, and then that, and that was it. So it was not a really ideal day to be like, here's what I eat in a day. Cause that was very weird, but it's later, it's another day. And I just thought, well, I'll show you what I eat all day today. Um, I am drinking some sugar-free Red Bull. I also already have had almost 32 ounces of water. Um, and yeah, I am now finishing up my Red Bull and I'm going to do a little um, Peloton ride and then continue to work. And then I'll show you guys what I eat because I'm going to try out all those recipes for my meal prep video. Okay, looks like we burned about 185 active calories. Whoop whoop. Now it is time to shower and get some lunch or breakfast lunch. It is about 11.10. So I guess breakfast. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna have two. There are two points of peas. I'm gonna heat these up. And then I'm going to put some of this Walden Farms 0, 0.0 calorie syrup on top. And also maybe some Ready Whip. Yes. Okay, so here is breakfast. And it's actually five points for two. And then I have my second water filled up. Yum. I forgot to tell you guys how these taste. These are so good. This literally tastes to me like McDonald's pancakes and sausage. It is so delicious. Like, I think I want to make these every week of my life. <laughs> literally scream it's so cute <laughs> Most okay so it is now 118 and i am having 29 of the good thins um, which is two points half a cup of the skinny chicken salad that i made earlier this week um, which for half a cup for the green plan is three points and then some grapes. So this is a five point lunch. And then I'm having some diet Coke or some diet, some Coke zero. And 
I am almost done with my second water. So that's awesome. And yeah, I'm just watching some YouTube, some Stephanie Sue. She also does true crime, but she eats while she's telling it. Some people hate when people eat during things. I don't mind it. So that's what I'm having for lunch while I watch a little Stephanie Sue. Morning. Here we go. Five miles, 456 active calories. Okay, so just got home from my walk. You guys saw we walked five miles. I'm on my third water. So I'm gonna have 96 ounces of water by the end of the day. I put some Mio, it's um, like pink lemonade. It's so good, so fetch. Now I'm gonna have dinner. If you didn't see my meal prep video, go back to Monday's video because I prepped three recipes and they're delicious. Soup is what I'm having for dinner. It is the potato chowder. It's a cup and a half that is, ugh. I'm telling you I'm so weird about leftovers sometimes, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Anyways, a cup and a half is eight points. I might do two cups and see what that makes it. Um, I'll put it up on the screen because I have points left and I'm really hungry. So I'm going to do two cups. So I'm just dipping, just dipping this in like this, doing one cup. And then doing two. Should have got a bigger bowl, you guys. Okay, so I have my regular bowl here. And then I have this bowl. I'm going to put it all in there once I take a picture, but I'm going to try it. Because all of my bowls are being used right now to like hold different things in them. Food things. This is good. Yep. It tastes almost cheesy. It's so weird. Like, I think because of the flour, this is so good. I'm also adding on top seven grams, aka one points worth of Southwest like tortilla strips. So I'm adding one points worth on top. I'll show you guys it once I'm done. And then I'm adding a fourth of a cup, so one points, one points worth of plain Greek yogurt in it as well. So when I did the measurements of how many points it would be for a serving plus a half of a cup, it was 11 points. So since I only did an extra half a cup, it added three points, I guess. Here's dinner. I'm so excited and I'll see you guys once I'm done eating. I'm so thirsty. Okay, so for my final meal of the day, I'm going to have some of this Cascadian Farms Organic Graham Crunch for one cup. It's 150 calories and it's five points for one cup, which I have here. And then I have a half a cup of my Almond Breeze Unsweetened Vanilla Milk, which I measured out, which is zero points. So I have two points left, but I don't think I'm going to eat those points. I think this is good for me for tonight. It's already 8.30 and this will be a nice sweet little snack. Hello, editing Sophie here. And yes, I got bit by something last night while I was sleeping, which is terrifying. But also, um, I just wanted to say, I think I'm right on track with calories because if you think about it, because I don't count my creamer, I'm, I might as well do that now because I always end up with like one or two points left at the end of the day. That could be my creamer points. And then that's an additional like 50 ish calories, depending on their ready whip or creamer amount that I use. Um, especially cause I'm using full fat creamer right now. So if you think about it, I'm hitting about 1200 calories a day now on the green plan. Um, and yeah, it's going really well so far and I have been feeling leaner just to update you, I have not weighed myself because as you guys know, I'm taking a break from the scale, but I have felt leaner. I felt better, more energetic. So the green plan is going great so far. I just wanted to come in as editing Sophie because I realized I'm like, oh, I have two points left and I'm like almost to 1200 calories. And I'm like, but girl, you don't count creamer and that would have just like taken up those points. So I think everything's equaling out and I think the green plan is working well for me. So anyways, just wanted to say that.
Thank you guys as always for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't because it really helps support my channel. I post every Monday and Thursday and sometimes on a random other day. I love it guys. I'm sorry this vlog was like kind of everywhere, but sorry I'm not sorry. <laughs> okay, see ya. Love ya. Bye.